Welcome back to Mercedes-Benz of Arrowhead. My name is Nick Russo and today I'm going to show you this beautifully equipped 2017 C43 from Mercedes-Benz provided to you by the good folks over at AMG. Again, Mercedes-Benz and AMG have come together to kind of differentiate the brand. You got the C63 and the 63S, which are kind of like up there out in the stratosphere with their own kind of competition. And then to bring it back to the V6 competitors, you, know, you got those M3s, uh, you got the 345, you got the 435, whatever they're called, those V6 twin turbo cars. This is the competitor, okay? Not a, not a C63 or a C63S. Those are far in advance uh, above the competition. So what Mercedes-Benz has done is they brought to you a takedown version of an AMG car, okay? You're still gonna have the performance exhaust. You're gonna have the performance suspension on this particular vehicle, performance steering wheel, a lot of all the features that you find on an AMG car. Uh, going along to the front of this coupe, uh, you got the LED front lighting system with active curve. You're going to have the single torch display with the LED turn signals above that. Uh, exquisite on the vehicle, as you can see here, is the diamond grille. Uh, most people see this car coming. They see that diamond grille. They see that single lamella, and they see that star, and immediately fall in love. And then they see those torch lights, and they're done. What's power planting this car is not a handmade AMG engine. That's where you're saving a little bit of money here. Uh, it's a mass produced three liter twin turbo V6. It's gonna give you 362 horsepower, 384 in the torque. Uh, it's got a kind of a torque vectoring system where it's gonna actually put more torque into the turn. Uh, you're gonna feel that kind of deal when you take this out on a test drive with me. Uh, it's hard to explain, easy to feel when you're out there on the drive. Uh, coming around the front of the vehicle, this is a premium package three car. As you can see, uh, the star has that plastic over it and you got a huge camera back there. It's gonna be monitoring the road as you're driving. That's called drive pilot. Uh, you put the cruise control feature on, you can dial out your distance uh, to, the, to the car in front of you, uh, as close as uh, 20 to 30 feet, as far out as 200 to 300 feet. Car's gonna take over the driving, steering, uh, it's gonna go, it's gonna stop, uh, you can resume with the push of the stick or just tap on the gas, and it's basically an autonomous driving car in 30 second increments. Uh, I have it in my car and I love it, you're gonna love it too. Come on in, I'll show it to you in person. Uh, as you can see on this car, black on black, it's got the night package on it. You got the beautiful wheels uh, with the black inserts all around. And what really stands out about this car is when I take you on inside, and you can see how that's totally outfitted with the performance package seating configuration. Welcome inside this beautifully equipped, luxurious yet sporty cabin here in this C43 coupe. Let me start on the driver's door. A lot of folks that are not familiar with Mercedes Benz always go down here on the seat. Uh, for the seat functions. They're on the door, so you can see exactly what you're doing. So you got your bench, you got a lower uh, seat extender, it's kind of like a lazy boy feature. You have your recline and your headrest with your memory uh, features right there. You also have your heated feature. If you have a ventilated seat, that goes right there. As you can see, coming to finish off the door, you have the Burmester stereo system with those beautiful chrome grills that finish off the door very nicely, goes throughout the rest of the cabin. Coming across, if you can see, these have the performance seat that I mentioned before, uh, a nice option that comes directly out of a, a, a C63 or a 63S car. Uh, generally, this is the seat, more of a Recaro style seating, uh, all perforated, uh, so it gives you a little more ventilation, uh, but this particular model, only the heated seat. Also an option on this car, you have the performance steering wheel, okay? It's gonna be a little bit thicker, give you a better grip when you're on the road, a little performance action, get up higher speeds. And if you get up those higher speeds, you might start to sweat a little bit. You got the Dynamica right here on the side of the wheel to keep your hands nice and dry at those accelerated speeds. Uh, steering wheel mounting controls, left side is going to handle all the middle information display. Right side is gonna handle your phone. Uh, voice command and your mute features for the radio as long with your volume controls. Uh, as you can see, it is an AMG three-prong steering wheel. That's our sport inspired steering wheel. And if you can see right here, another option, this car is done up well. You have the beautiful center waterfall stack, uh, all is done up with the carbon fiber. So when you see, it's hard to see here from the camera probably, but when you're in the car, you can really see uh, how nicely detailed this center stack is. Very easy to operate, all up and down uh, switches for your thermostat, push buttons here for your navigation radio, your multimedia, telephone, and your vehicle settings. Got a beautiful analog clock. And coming down to finish it all off is your command center. Uh, touchpad, if you want to 
kind of use it like a touchpad on your uh, laptop. You got the dial that most folks are familiar with in most cars to control your telematics and your navigation. Lovely feature, I have this car myself, so you have your little volume control here on a barrel switch and it is in the perfect space uh, place uh, if you're a audiophile like me and you like to mess around with the music all the time. Up and down, push it down to mute it, you're going to see it comes in very handy. If you can see right here, you have the little exhaust icon on this button right here and that is because this car is also equipped with the AMG Performance Exhaust. Uh, when that kicks in, in Sport Plus mode, you feel like you're in an AMG C63 or C63S and it sounds beautiful. Uh, finishing it off, you got your auto stop fuel safe, uh, fuel savings uh, monitor. You also have your suspension manual mode and uh, if you want to put the car into sport mode, you can take that traction control off and do what you really want to do in this car and you're going to want to do it often because this car makes you want to push the limits. Come on in, see me. My name is Nick Russo here at Mercedes-Benz of Arrowhead in Peoria. I will take you on a ride and you will enjoy this car. Thank you very much.